The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has every reason to celebrate after the landmark ruling that saw the High Court retain the proposed 18 new constituencies. There will be things which we, we have to correct in the boundary report, but overall it means that the election process can go on. The commission, however, has one more task ahead of it before it can start the exercise. The immediate plan of action is that uh, the report will be produced, the legal notice will be revised according to the court cases, and uh, new boundaries um, are published, and uh, we roll out the election process, which starts with the voter registration in August. Speaking at a media brief at the Ministry of Information offices, Commissioner Modoni Wangai called on the media to be very careful in what they carry in their stations, stating that if wrong information is passed, then it could jeopardize the registration and electoral process, sentiments carried by Deputy Police Spokesman Charles Owino. Knowing that uh, voter registration is the basis of our correct reporting for elections, it is also subject to security. Giving the wrong information uh, jeopardizes the process and also puts into, uh, into problems the acquisition of something which we are going to spend almost $50 million of public money on. And it, it behoves the, the media to request the right information before they publish and also to confirm if they think that the information they are getting needs to be clarified. Our concern is, uh, first of all, to request for consideration, especially on responsible reporting uh, from the media. We are looking at the moral aspect. Uh, as much as um, uh, the media may be in business and looking for hot news, we must put our country first and we must look at what we are reporting all the time and its implication on uh, the general view of the country and more so even on economic implications at the end of the day and how we run our country. Owino also indicated that the police were carrying out investigations over claims that pictures used in filing a TV documentary belonged to an individual not in question and had been wrongfully obtained. An individual has even come up to claim that his photographs have been used to portray a particular individual. I know you understand what I'm talking about. We don't want to mention names at this stage because of uh, legal implications. Uh, but I just want to, to send a message. Uh, we are investigating into that, and uh, if we prove that somebody could have used pictures uh, that were actually an individual's pictures, then we will need to go further to establish uh, what it means because we are discouraging a situation where media houses would be competing for hot documentaries uh, which may be referred to a competition on who gives the biggest selling lie, which would be very bad. He called on journalists to be extra careful in what they report because wrong information could easily polarize the country. Nancy Njoki, GBS News.